Hey, it's Josh Doyle from Triple Threat Artist, back with another battery quick tip. This is going to be about how to export sounds or route sounds out of battery. So right now we've got this little MIDI phrase uh, happening on this track. And right now it's all contained within battery and it's just routed to this channel hearing and that's the the bass drum, the snare, you know, the little offbeat hi-hat sounding thing. And that's cool for convenience, but it makes it kind of difficult to mix because sometimes we just want to be able to mix our bass drum and optimize that and our snare drum and optimize that. So it'd be great if we could route it out to different channels or even be able to mix it easily. So there's a few options that we have. We can either if it's just a balancing thing, there's there's different ways that we can balance it, but we could, one of the quickest ways is to go to output, and we could just bus it to bus one on here, right? And then our snare drum, I'm calling it a snare drum, we could bus that to bus two, and then where's that other sound? This one right here. We could bus that to bus three. And then if we go over to our master tab, this master tab right down here, then you'll see these buses right here each represent the kick, the snare, and I'm calling it the hi-hat. And they're still all being routed, these buses are all still being routed to this main master. You'll still see it on this one channel in Pro Tools. But now we can adjust the levels for each one of those elements. So if I wanted to really raise the bass drum, I could just raise this fader. Or any one of those elements. And that's cool. That, that gives us a little bit more options being able to have those on separate buses. But what I'd really like is to be able to route those outside of battery into their own separate tracks within Pro Tools. And then I can put, you know, different effects within the DAW itself. So what I would do there is I would come back over here to output and I would do a direct out. And I'm gonna route this kick drum to seven eight and then my snare drum to to nine ten and then this one to to eleven twelve. And then if we go back into our DAW and we go to our inputs, right down here for plugin, we see battery, and then we just choose the one that we want. So our bass drum was stereo 7.8, so we choose that for our bass drum, and then go to plugin, and then the next one was 9.10, and then again, you guys are probably not seeing this one, but this is 11.12. All right, so I'm gonna label these, this will be kick, and then this next room will be snare and hat, right? And now we'll see each one of those routed to those channels. Cool, so now we've got those things happening right there, and we could even print them. If we wanted to record it, we just go like that, record enable, and then we record. Hit record on our DAW. And now we've got the tracks broken out by sample. All right, so there you go. Have fun, get creative.